Now to our I-Team investigation of septic tanks at City Parks. Just over a week ago, three-year-old Amari Harley fell into one of those tanks at an Arlington Park and died. His funeral was held over the weekend, while a very important question remains unanswered about the tank at Bruce Park. Was it covered or was it left open? Our I-Team just wrapped up its investigation looking at all of the parks where the city hired a private company to inspect septic systems on the, the, the dots you see on this map represent all 76 parks that News 4 Jax has visited since this tragedy. Here's more from Channel 4's Jim Piggott. Over the weekend, this is what we found at Burnett Park in Mandarin. Caution tape surrounding the septic tank. There are three of these types of septic tanks at the park, and it's obvious recent work was done here. I asked the city for an explanation, but so far, no response on what was being done and why. Again, we were all over Jacksonville today, checking to make sure that your kids are safe at parks, from way out in Black Hammock Island to the boat ramps along Heckscher Drive. All were covered. So I'm out at the Mayport boat ramp, and there are tanks here as well. This one has a metal cover. It is locked. But if you look at this, there's two cement covers here as well. But on this particular one, at least when you step on it, you can see it pops up. That's something that is going to have to be addressed. The city released a statement regarding its investigation into the septic tank systems. The mayor's office says each of the 76 sites listed on the inspection reports have been revisited this week for examination of its septic system. After Amari's death, we began our own investigation. For example, we found a loose and unsecured lid held by a corroded screw at Hannah Park. The city corrected that shortly after our report. We showed you the questionable rubber lid at Forest View Park on the north side, similar to the lid under investigation in Amari's death. The mayor said he wants to standardize all septic tank lids. Again, Jim Pickett and the I-Team are still asking for inspection reports, and we hope to go with crews as they do the work the city has so far not, give us an, not given us an answer to that. Our coverage continues on News4Jax.com. There you can find the latest on the search for answers in a three-year-old Amari Harley's death, as well as our I-Team investigation of septic tanks and parks, which ones were good and which ones were potentially dangerous.